Hello and welcome to the channel everybody, I'm Jason Storm and in this video I want to talk about something that I haven't really talked about on this channel which is kind of weird because a lot of what has worked on this channel is phones and phone reviews, unboxing, things like that and about a year ago I actually switched from Android like the uh, Sony Xperia XZ Premium here, um, the... How do you... I've forgotten how to even open up an Android device. <laughs> um, the HTC 10. I have a long history of Android devices. But last year I decided to change and change to the iPhone XS. To be honest, I've never really had an iPhone daily driver type phone uh, that I've used for a long period of time. Uh, I did a video, I think last year, um, of me using an iPhone 4S for a few weeks for a challenge thing. And I kind of liked it. I thought, yeah, the tech was old, but I kind of liked it. And what would it be like if I was to use a new iPhone with much later tech and see how it goes. So I switched to this the day it came out in September last year. And now I've spent a year with the device, minus two weeks. <laughs> Uh, the new iPhone is about to come out um, in about two weeks time. It may already be, be out when you're, you're watching this video. And the question I would like to discuss in this video is, will I be sticking with this? Will I be upgrading to the new iPhone? Or am I chucking this in the bin? and going with Android again. There were pluses and minuses to Android, iOS, like every phone on the market. There is not one phone out there that's just like the perfect best phone in every single thing, like wireless charging, screen, expandable storage, camera, front and rear, etc, etc. They've all got their downfalls. Let me start off with the bad points on Apple. Especially being a YouTuber, video maker, creator, all that stuff. Sometimes I like to make videos on my phone, record videos on my phone. I move, move files around quite a bit with iOS and Apple that's kind of a bit of a difficult task sometimes. Unless, of course, you're like, hey, I want this photo, video, whatever on my iPad Pro, then it's an easy task. You just airdrop it. Airdrop's like, boom, just boom. It just magically appears on there. That's amazing. Like I said, I don't have a Mac. It's not that easy between um, this and the PC. And because it doesn't have an SD card, I can't just pull out the SD card and put it in. You have to physically hook it up via cable. Getting stuff on there is fine. Putting stuff back onto it, if I'm like, I move everything onto there and then oh, there's just this file that I probably shouldn't have moved back. I'll put it back on here. Just now it won't let you. No, no, you're not doing that. That's what it says. And then you have to just send it on an email from here <laughs> to like your phone. And it's just stupid, especially if it's a large file. On iOS, it doesn't group the notifications. It sort of does mostly singular, although it is getting better in that front actually. And yes, it has a notch on the screen. To be honest, I haven't really noticed that much. It hasn't really bothered me. I know it's a big thing for some people. It just hasn't really been for me. 
the biggest problem on this phone, in my opinion, is Siri. Siri, you are the biggest problem with an iPhone. I don't really like these arbitrary categories. It's not as good as Google. It just isn't. And that's probably the biggest thing I miss from Android. And that's it. In saying that, <laughs> I have Google Maps on here. <laughs> I also have Google Home and other Google software because Google is just better. They're the most annoying parts for me with the Apple device. But the good things for me is the fact that it just works. Everything just kind of works and it's easy. For me, you want to unlock your phone? Bang, it's, it's unlocked. All I had to do was pick it up and look at it. And it's unlocked. One of my favorite things on the iPhone XS, or even the 10, the 10 has it as well, but it's just not as fast, is Face ID. Nowadays, I mostly pay stuff off my phone or Apple Watch. And like, I want to pay on my phone, double click, the button to bring up the card and just pay. There's no fingerprint sensors, there's no passcodes, nothing. It scans my face, it works. Each time I have to quickly go check something on my phone, all I have to do is swipe up. I don't need a passcode, a, a fingerprint scanner. It's just easy, just works. I know it sounds a bit stupid. Yes, there are things that Samsung has like the iris scanners and similar things. I don't like it. I don't feel it's as secure and iris scanners can tend to hurt your eyes sometimes. Rear cameras, pretty good. There are obviously better phones out there now like the Huawei P30 Pro and all that that are better rear cameras than what's on this. The front camera is a little bit too close up as well, might I add, which kind of annoys me. The uh, front facing camera on the Sony was much more wider, I find, and actually probably did a little bit better in low light conditions and things like that. Wireless charging, screen is pretty good. Speakers are quite good. The things that have kind of stopped me from buying an iPhone before now was I didn't like the home button, which now that's gone. Even the network, uh, even the network antennas and all that in iPhones weren't very good. The cameras were me, they recorded video in like mono, now they record in stereo. Um, they didn't have wireless charging, now they do have wireless charging. They have Face ID now. Is this the best phone in the camera? No. Is this the best phone in screen? No. Is this the best phone in many things? No, it isn't. And I think we get caught up too much in wanting the best phone in a certain thing. Well, some people do anyway. Not everyone, of course. <laughs> when I switched to this, I just wanted a phone that works and works well. Did it have to be the best at every certain thing? No. Um, the, the performance is quite snappy, which you can't necessarily say for all Android devices. Um, especially after a year, they tend to slow down a bit. This one hasn't. And I found a lot of Android devices have had a few, quite a few bugs, um, which again, this just works. I, I can tell you probably see where I'm going with this. I'm going to be sticking to the Apple ecosystem, I'm afraid. Um, yes, it has its downfalls, um, but it works well with my iPad, um, works well. I, I love this Apple Watch. Um, this isn't even, this is a series one stainless steel. And I was only planning on having this for potentially a month or two. 
and then I was gonna upgrade to the Series 4. Um, but again, it's it just works. I don't care that I pay more. Sometimes I just want a phone that works in every scenario and works well, like eight out of 10 well in most circumstances, and this does. There's always been little things with the Sony that makes me wanna break that thing in half. And things with the HTC that just makes me wanna smash it. And every phone previously, there's been stuff that I just don't like. Like, wanna smash it, don't like. But this device here, the iPhone XS, this is 64 gig as well. It's not even a big one. I haven't filled this up. I generally take stuff like big video files off it or something if I record it anyway. So I don't need any big space. I don't need expandable storage or anything like that really. Will I be upgrading to the new iPhone in a few weeks? Yes, I will. And that's not because I'm not happy with the, this device, because to be honest, I don't think the new device will give me much more than what this does. And it is probably totally not worth getting the next iPhone, probably. <laughs> Although I could be wrong, and not to mention the new device is a little bit ugly in my opinion, but anyway, yeah. I'm going to anyway, probably, because with my smartphone carrier in Australia, I'm on this thing where you pay $99 and get a new phone. So why not pay $99 and get a new phone? That's what I'm doing. I'm actually mostly happy to stay with this phone. That's about it, I guess. So anyway, hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next video.